Hello, what's happening with audio? What is your prognosis? Thanks. All right, uh, Forrest, what's happening with uh, Ad Adias? Yeah, so audio is actually, I mean, since we started talking about it, it's up over 100% still. It's still over $2. Uh, and I believe we started talking about, at, about it at about $1. It did pump to about $5. But we have this token, these tokens vesting for a team and, and advisors uh, as well as early investors, uh, the VCs, that their first round of tokens vest on April 23rd. So obviously, knowing that, nobody wants to buy audius before the supply is about to get diluted now once the supply gets diluted a little bit on april 23rd it doesn't get diluted again um, for three more months so then we've got three months where audius can potentially have a nice run up uh, for me because of how good of a project it is because it scored over a 90 on fundamental analysis and over a 90 on uh, the code review and because I believe in the narrative of decentralized content and what they're trying to accomplish, right? Audio token for me is a long-term hold. So this is one of those where Ian was talking about, if you believe in the project, you'll hold through all of the dips. For me, I think this is an opportunity for people to get in. If I was looking to get into audio token right now and I didn't have any exposure to it, this is not financial advice, I'd probably make two purchases. One right now while it's dipped, and then another one after the tokens vest on April 23rd, right? So maybe the week following, if it gets driven down further, that's a buying opportunity where you can potentially pick it up for cheap. Um, so for me, I'm holding on my audio token. I haven't taken significant profits from my initial buy yet. Um, and I'm very bullish long-term on audio. I think it's a great buying opportunity. Yeah, myself as well. So actually, I have an audio story for you this weekend, Forrest. <laughs> so I'm back home in D.C. to to kind of just catch up with family. We're driving to go take a COVID test. My dad's playing PBS, like NPR. And during the break, they mentioned, hey, this band, uh, get, get their audio on Audius. And I was like, on PBS? <laughs> so like, as opposed to saying, hey, catch this band's audio on Spotify or iTunes, like this is like mainstream radio, PBS here in America, which is like basically public radio. They're saying catch this band songs on Audius. So I think this is this is going to become a thing. Right now, I feel I feel like we're super early, but if public radio is already plugging Audius, I think as more artists catch on, this can really be pretty huge, right? So for me, this is a long term trade. Um, we also shared with our customers a pretty in depth report comparing Audius to Spotify and iTunes. Bill, do you, do you want to kind of cover that briefly? The report David did? Yes, I can. So we took a look at several things. Okay. I'm just going to leave my audience chart up here while I talk for people to marinate on it. We took a look at what Apple was worth when iTunes was created in 2003. We also looked at what Spotify was valued at right before a lot of venture capital money came in prior to its public offering. And sort of the $8 billion number was out there for what could be the value of the next big music streaming service at Nice, at least initially. Needless to say, the market valuation of Audius is not $8 billion. Okay. It's 182 on the market cap chart and I'm showing a, a market cap of 334 million. Now, when it comes to the TA, right? This is an 89 minute bar chart. So this is something that you might use to try to figure out, you know, when might the correction in Audius be over? Frequently, when you have these sort of give up trades, either people have already given up at the even number of $2, okay? Which is why Forrest is saying, hey, you should be taking a look at this. 212 is another big technical number. Okay, however, if there was a dip below two, that might represent in Elliott wave terms, a five wave, kind of the ultimate give up. 
like, wow, I knew this was great, but I bought it at the wrong price. So if there is a give up trade in Audius, it could be coming soon and you would want to take advantage of it because if you're going to hodl something, right? If you're going to think about decentralized content, if you think about how tired people are of artists and consumers not capturing the value or having a good experience while Silicon Valley just pulls in all the money, something like Audius that's 300 million that could one day be worth 8 billion. And again, that may be a warm up, especially if it's already on public radio. These comparative valuations, they're not mathematically perfect, but in research, you get paid for imagination. So you maybe take a couple data points from the future and go, gee, Far out there, what could happen? Eight billion. Think about it. All right. Thank you, Bill. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.